Hi folks, I'm Frank Burgos. This is Ugly Fletcho, and today is January 23, 2008. Uh, I want to share with you some ideas for helping to, uh, as a matter of fact, the title of this discussion is Method to Help Ensure Rapid Registration during setup of older wide web flexo presses. Now, it's not limited to wide web flexo presses. You could use this on stack presses, on inline narrow web presses, you know, kind of modifications to it. But I'm going to just focus on the CI press and I may talk about how it affects other presses at another point. But, you know, there's a lot of folks out there operating these big old machines. And while today we have uh, machines with servos that can register themselves, dry register themselves, before you start to print, there's a lot of equipment out there that doesn't have any fancy stuff like that. And uh, to further uh, complicate that, there's a lot of folks out there who buy presses, flexo presses, and they really sometimes don't even learn all these things before they get involved. They kind of just get involved, they may have an offset shop or something, or they may be entrepreneurs, and they're going to get this flexo press and learn it the hard way and, and, and do something with it, and that's fine. But as a result, uh, often they can struggle through problems and not realize that there are solutions, or, or easy, simple methods. So for a lot of you, this might be uh, very simple and obvious, but I think there's a significant number of you out there too that are, that are, are in that position I just described and maybe can benefit from this, okay? So I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna put these, these are some bullet points I made so I don't leave anything out. And I'm gonna put them right over here in this section of, uh, of Ugly Flexo. And, um, and uh, you can print these procedures out, copy and paste them, modify them to your situation if you like, okay? But I'm just gonna make sure that I don't leave anything out so I'm gonna Go ahead and use this as a, as a guideline, right? So the whole process starts with your plates, okay? It says here, make the plates with built-in register marks or carefully make marks or lines on the plate for horizontal registering, okay? Now what happens is, uh, and it should actually be vertical registering, not horizontal registering. So here's a plate. Okay, and then somewhere here you have an image. Okay, and you got the top and the bottom of the plate. You might have marks over here, or you may have to find the center and draw a line across there. However, it is that you do it right now. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna look at the different techniques and which one's better or anything like that. But whatever way you do it, you need to have the plates so that they have a horizontal reference line, and if those reference lines are all on top of each other, everything is in register, okay? So that's the first step, all right? So make the plates with built-in register marks or carefully make marks online for horizontal positioning, whichever your method is, all right? Now, scribe line on cylinder. Designate a horizontal scribe line on each cylinder as the horizontal reference line. Okay, so let's look at that for a second. Here's a cylinder. All right. A simple place under. And Somewhere on there, you're going to have this horizontal scribe line, okay? Right? That's going to be your reference line that we're talking about here, right? So you have to designate one. You may only have one scribe line on your cylinder, and by default, that's going to be the line you use. You may have more than one. You may have four or more lines on there. One of them needs to be your designated scribe line for this purpose, okay? So once you've done that, On each, for each cylinder, you're going to mark the gear that aligns with that horizontal uh, reference line. Okay, so what does that mean? Now let's look at a cross section of this gear, okay, of this cylinder. Here's your place cylinder, all right? 
Nice air cylinder. All right. And now, let's say that that scribe line is right here, all right? So that's your line where that mark on your plate is going to be mounted. That's your horizontal line, right? Well, now, on your gear that goes up to the cylinder, that's a very simplified view of a gear, right? You may have something like a keyway that slides on the end of your shaft and then gets secured so that that gear doesn't move. If you have a helical gear and that's used for registration, maybe it slides on that keyway and just and, and, and stays in position, but it can go in and out. Or maybe you have a situation where the gear is always on that cylinder. Whatever the case may be, there's going to be one tooth that comes very near or precisely aligns with that scribe line, okay? And it may even, in some cases, you, you may not notice this, but look at your plate cylinders, uh, your gears, and sometimes they have a little triangle or something right on the side of the gear. And sometimes that means that that lines up with that horizontal line. Have a look at it if you haven't noticed that yet, okay? But bottom line is, for each cylinder, you're going to mark the gear that aligns, the gear tooth rather, that aligns with the designated reference scribe line, okay? And when you do this, depends on your press, as I mentioned. If the gear doesn't have a mark, use wide out, which is some like paper correction, and if that, they don't make that anymore or something like that, or you can't find it, you can go to a, uh, like an auto parts store and what they use to, to, those yellow things that they use to mark tires or some markers, you want it to be able to mark on the metal and be visible to you because you're going to get next to the press and you're going to do some aligning in a little bit, okay? Now, with careful coordination, if you figure this all out and you like the idea, you can mark or stamp your gears or, or mark them with an engraver, but be very careful. You do not want to damage these gears at all. So if you can't do that with the confidence that you know that you're not going to do any damage, just mark it with something and don't, 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 don't stamp it or anything like that, okay? You might just want to not stamp it.